the following game is rated M by the SRB. Make sure your health is pretty high, and just wait until you get the cutscene. You can try to avoid go around and around to avoid it, and it sometimes works and sometimes it doesn't. So that takes care of Incubus. Turns back to Alessa. So yeah, that uh, the vision of Alessa that we saw around town was actually Cheryl. And I'm going to talk during this cutscene because it actually, well, he receives a baby. So that's like literally what happened before, so hopefully this time there's no, I guess, evil part of Alessa or other half of Alessa that's calling the other half back to Silent Hill, so. And Sybil wakes up. Unfortunately, Kaufman... He did something very bad to someone, and someone wants a little bit of revenge. So yeah, uh, Lisa's getting her revenge on Kaufman, definitely. And uh, well, the little place is coming apart, so we have to head towards the light. This is all automatic, this is the ending. And this is all pretty much Now there is different endings, I don't have to say. So depending on what um, what you do throughout the game, you'll get different endings, so So Les apparently is stopped around everything so they can escape. Essentially sacrificing herself to so they can escape. Thus Harry and Sybil run into the fog. Whatever happened to them, well, I guess we'll find out later on. So that's Silent Hill, folks. I, that is the, the good plus ending. There's also the good ending. And there's the bad plus ending and the bad ending. Along with a, another bonus ending, which I would be showing off all of them in bonus episodes and I'll also be showing off the the weapons that you can get the bonus weapons that you can get also so I won't be playing through the entire parody of the actual or the entire thing of the game again but anything notably that's changed like certain things you actually need to do to change the ending, I will actually do that. I will probably, for the next half, or the next... The next ending, I will be going towards the... The good ending, and then the bad plus, and then the bad ending. And then the bonus ending after that. So, there we go. So, yes, that Silent Hill, I have to say, this was... The third Silent Hill, actually, have, uh... I played. I played the third one first, which I'd say is a sequel to this, so I was very much spoiled on what happened in this game. 
so but nevertheless it still is good yes it has not aged well because it's ps1 ps1 graphics but the um the retelling of this is shattered memories I wouldn't say play that to get the sense of what happens in this game because they're they're very quite different. Same type of story, like I said, a retelling of it. So if you're going to definitely want to play this, play this, play this version. It's on PSN, or if you can find it, it's on the uh, well, it's out there. But it's definitely on PSN, and that's what I'm actually playing now. So, and it works perfectly fine on PS3. So that's it. Anyway, 1999, folks. Holy cow. Anyway, that is about it. So, out of all that seriousness, basically, what do we get? We get one more last scene. With Sybil and Harry and the baby, which is very much similar to the scene of... Harry and his wife at the beginning. And then we get outtakes. Cinematic outtakes of all the characters. We got Lisa Garland. We got Michael Kaufman. Doctor, Mr. Kaufman. Sybil Bennett. I have to say, this kind of reminds me of like if it was a B movie, basically. Very much so. And then we have Cheryl Mason. And then we see the lady that doesn't really appear in the actual game too much, actually. Alessa Gillespie. And I really actually want to talk about, like, the difference between the movies, or at least the movie, in the game because I'm going to be talking about Dolly a lot and I'm definitely be doing that in one of these episodes and I do have to say for some reason in this specific scene Harry just such reminds me of James from the second one just the look he kind of has the look of James I don't know and our protagonist Harry Mason there we are. Uh, that's a little, a little interesting. And after that, we get our game result screen, which we see what mode we're in. I did it in normal. We have one game cleared. The ending is good plus. Saves, I did 28 of them. Continues, none. Clear time is six hours, 40 minutes and 44 seconds. I could probably do better than that. Walking distance, running distance, items I've obtained, which is not all of them, but I was about 11 off. And enemies defeated by fighting, which is basically melee or when you kick them. And enemies defeated by shooting, which I just shoot them to death, basically. And shooting sign, short range, mid range, and no aiming shots, yes. So got a rank of. One, two, two, four, six. So we got six star, six, and 6.4 stars because the ones underneath counts as, like, I guess, um, not real stars. So 6.4 stars. The best rank you can get is 10. And, well, we got uh, some interesting items in the back, and I don't know if we mentioned what it is. I said, okay, the save. Well, before I go to save, we got obviously the gas we got a gas can, we got a chainsaw, a rock shrill, and some kind of rock. So but I'll get into this a lot more and I'll probably be doing it in hard mode too, just for the sake of doing it in hard mode. So let's save. And I'm actually gonna show the saving screen. And we're gonna do next fear. I've already done this is my first, so I'm gonna go over this. And let's go. And that's it, folks. In the next episode, we'll be starting our second playthrough where the notable differences are 
And look, there's Sybil instead of his wife. There you go. Subtle changes in the beginning. But anyway, we're going to be doing that where we're going to be going to do no, the notable differences going towards the good ending this time, not the good plus ending. Picking up some optional weapons along the way and, well, going from there. So I guess I'll just see you in the next one. Have a good night and take care, guys.